who really cares, who is willing to try to save the world that is destined to die. Oh, then. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place that we call the Mental House with me, your host, the DJ. Um, this is a very, a very extremely disturbing story, and um, it is just indicative of a society that is totally in decline, because the way a society treats its elderly and the way it treats its children is a good indication. A good indication. I'm not even going to say pets or nothing like that because there's a lot of you who think that you'd rather have to deal with pets than to deal with a human being. And uh, I've heard that before, so I don't want to get into that. And that's not what this is about. What this is about is little brother Jaquan. Jacarion and um, what happened to him. And this is a case here in Milwaukee. <sighs> Another murdered child here in Milwaukee. Another child who is unalive. And the responsible person for their demise is their immediate family. In this case, the Patton. It's hard for me to get this story out, as y'all can see, but little Jacorion is 12 years old. And, um, uh, he was um, staying with his dad, I guess, because he had been having, you know, some issues or whatever. I don't know where he was prior to staying with his dad. However, I know that they found him in the house that he stayed in, decomposing. And so Roman Moy is now facing felony chronic neglect charges in connection to the death of Jakari Robinson. I want to know how it got to be chronic. How in the hell did it get to be chronic? The father of this 12-year-old boy found dead inside his Milwaukee home last week is now wanted for chronic neglect. How, again, does it get chronic, y'all? The Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office issued an arrest warrant over the weekend for Roman Moy, the father of Jakari Robinson. In a newly obtained criminal complaint, Jakari's older brother told investigators that their father had been dodging him and his family. The defendant has been keeping Jakari away from the family for the past few months. During that time, the defendant reported that Jakari was acting really bad. Um, the, what, what did the mama do? I mean, okay, let me continue. 
On October 10th, the criminal complaint said that Jakari's brother went to the home near 39th and Elmhurst. When no one answered the door, he told investigators he went inside. He was immediately struck by the strong order from inside and eventually observed a human foot protruding from under the covers in the living room on the floor. Court documents said that Jakari was the one under those covers and in an advanced state of decomposition. Now, I'll, 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 I'm trying to get through it because the gauge, the standard that we judge a nation is really how it treats its children and how it treats its senior citizens. And we are failing on both counts. An autopsy discovered fractures to Jakari's arms and his ribs. Investigators also described the refrigerator was filled with molded food. The Milwaukee County Court Commission authorized the arrest warrant for Moy on Saturday, October 14th. That's four days following the discovery of Jakari's body. Moy is not currently in custody. Remember, his child was chronic. He faces three counts of chronic neglect. So y'all know about him? Y'all done dealt with him before? And his business as usual? Oh, come on. Family. The criminal complaint said Moist faces three felony chronic neglect charges and a charge of failing to report the death of a child. The district attorney's office, that's Chisholm's ass, said more charges could be forthcoming based on the fractures. I don't understand. I don't understand what is, well, yes, I do. We are a society in decay. And um, it's just really that simple. I don't know what y'all think. Am, am I am I reaching here? Y'all got any questions? Do y'all just see what we're doing to our kids? This is insane. Absolutely insane. <laughs> I mean, God, I don't, I don't understand. I want to know what y'all think about it. I, I really do. And uh, we're going to go from there. If you like what you hear, again, like, subscribe, share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.